what's up you guys and thank you so much for tuning in to taylor time tv and this is episode two of how to level up your business this is season two of how to start your clothing line if you haven't seen season one click up here in the playlist to binge watch and then come back to this video all right now let's get straight to it so i posted on the community wall and asked you guys what video you wanted next and you guys told me you wanted how to start a clothing line under a thousand dollars so that is what today's video will be about now a thousand dollars is a very tight budget for a clothing brand but it is very much doable i started my business with about a thousand dollars so i'm going to tell you guys some tips and tricks on how to do that and some gems so make sure you guys watch the whole video because i am going to sprinkle in some free game throughout all right so you only have a thousand dollars right the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to test your products so I recommend that you guys do a Teespring or some kind of merch website. Um, this is not sponsored. This is just me giving you guys uh, free information. Um, I would open up a, a merch website or I would sign up for a merch website like Teespring or um, one of the other websites and I would just test different designs of my clothing business. Um, on those websites, you're able to design the clothing on there, but because you're able to design the clothing on there, it's very limited on what the designs can be. So prints and things like that, um, just regular t-shirts like this, um this shirt is actually on teespring itself so you can make things like this very easily on websites like that it's like that so that's why i recommend that um it saves you money overhead you're not buying a bunch of inventory for some things that may or may not work because i still have boxes over there of inventory that did not work out that just didn't sell so it's going to save you a lot of money you're going to know what product works what designs work because people are going to be buying them on the website and then it, the actual um manufacturer is going to ship it to them so it's drop shipping um it's never the product never touches your hand which is easier for beginners um that's what i recommend i know in my last video i said i do not recommend drop shipping but i do recommend testing your products with drop shipping so once since that is drop shipping you will not have your product in hand so i recommend on the website that you buy your own product at least a hundred dollars worth of your product or if you're just selling like a couple of t-shirts buy one of each of those t-shirts in your size not only because you want to actually have your brand just like how i have this right now um you want to be able to take product pictures and things like that do photo shoots once you take those pictures with the products that you ordered you can now run facebook ads um you can do influencers you can do micro influencers and brand ambassadors so so you're gonna buy a hundred dollars worth of your merch or whatever the price may be and then for marketing that's where i would spend the 500 dollars. marketing's always going to be the most money um it's usually more a little bit more than 50 percent um off the top of my head but at least spend 500 dollars on running those ads because the ads are going to go very quick i haven't ran facebook ads in a really long time because now i just have my audience to buy to purchase from my products but I definitely um, know the price did go up. So I would spend about $500. So you definitely don't have to use the full thousand. Um, the rest of the money I would just save up or I would put it back into the ads and the influencers. Um, I didn't want to do a video where I specifically tell you what amount to spend on what because it's going to be different for everybody in every circumstance. The pricing is going to be different. So I definitely would. So it's definitely possible to start your clothing brand with a thousand dollars and once you implement all of those steps you're really going to have an idea of what products work what influencers work and what marketing strategy works for you and from there you can use the money that you made to scale your business if you guys remember in my viral how to start a business video i said no to the influencers and brand ambassadors it's gone by and things have changed and brand ambassadors and influencers are definitely going to be a big part in a clothing brand but specifically you guys i would go with really really new are micro influencers that aren't going to charge a lot of money so what you need to do is you really need to research these people i recommend like tiktokers um instagram's not really big on pictures at this time so if you're looking for pictures and not video keep that in mind um i would look at people's comments and engagement over looking at followers a lot of people have ghost followers right now people buy followers there's a lot of different things going on 
Um, so you definitely want to look at the comments. You want to read in the comments and you actually want to see, is this person a real influencer? Do people really comment under their pictures asking them what they're wearing? Um, do they make do they make really nice quality pictures um, where there's transitions and good lighting? You definitely want to work with someone that puts their all into their fashion videos. Um, if you guys go to my page, I definitely put my all into my fashion videos um, with transitions and things like that. So that's definitely what you want to do. And you guys don't have to get anyone with over 100,000 followers. You can really just get people that make good content it's not even about the followers you need the content so they can have a small amount of followers if they make good content you can use those pictures that you paid for and you can run ads on them or you can just use those pictures that you pay for and just post them on your platform you just need good content you guys good content has the good content has the ability to go viral it's not about just the person who's promoting the product. It's about the actual content that they're doing and the actual virability of that content. So keep that in mind. Um, that's going to be a, definitely a big one because an influencer, you know, you can hire someone to take pictures or a video styling the outfit that you created and it could go viral or you could just run ads on it and make it go viral and make your, run your money up. <clears throat> And run your money up that way. I'm sorry, guys. I I am sick, you guys. So my voice is going to be going in and out. Just ignore that. Yeah, so those are my new thoughts on influencers and brand ambassadors. I think it's going to be a way bigger thing than it is now. Now everyone's making content, you guys. It's not even just like a small group of people. Literally everybody makes some kind of content. So you definitely want to take advantage of that and find some people. Started off, I did not pay more than $100 for a promotion. And when you guys are paying for their promotion, you definitely want to pay through PayPal. Um, don't be sending people cash apps or Apple Pays. Sometimes that's the only way some people work. Um, and you just have to decide if that's going to be worth it for you to take that risk. But I definitely recommend you guys only going through PayPal and making sure it's a business service when you're paying them. Just in case they never promote your products. Um, there's been a bunch of times where I have personally dealt with influencers that were unprofessional and I don't want that to happen to you guys. So if you guys do have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys, please do not DM me. Please comment under this video. Um, I have been getting a lot of DMs asking questions. I will answer all of your questions under this video. Also, please do not email me comment under this video. We want everybody to help. So when you answer your question in the comments, other people who had that same question will get that you know question answered that way i don't have to um answer the same question a bunch of times so i would really appreciate that so i hope this little quick video was really helpful for you guys thank you so much for tuning in again binge watch the previous episodes catch up on the last episodes and i'll see you in the new episode and i love you guys so much mm.